Welcome to Spiritual Formation 101. Number nine, you are what you see. Well, last time I told you about the realm of faith. Remember that? Having faith eyes. I want to expand on that a little bit more. And uh, I'll use an illustration first. Uh, I brought with me a, a selection of my glasses. Um, this is many years ago. These are uh, dollar store glasses. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I used to be able to get away with just wearing those on the end of my nose. And, uh, and uh, of course, I got these ones. Uh, yeah, how do I look, eh? <laughs> uh, and then uh, I tried something that didn't work really well. Uh, I, I remember I bought these. These are, uh, these are um, dollar store glasses too, but they're bifocals. And I found that really confusing. But eventually, I had to settle on the fact that I'm going to have to learn to use bifocals. So these are the bifocals that I use now. And so I can see up top. And I can uh, see at the bottom fairly good. But I want to talk a little bit today about uh, our spiritual eyes. Uh, let's read this together. Very, very interesting passage of Scripture. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. Wow. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If, therefore, the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Now, when I read that, this is how it seems to read. What you and I see, the lamp of the body is the eye. What you and I see appears to be, or what we look at, appears to be very important. So let's put that in the perspective of where we're studying. It's very important to our inner core. Remember, our inner core, we're developing it, we're strengthening it, we're strengthening that inner core. It's very important for that inner core that we are careful about what we look at with our eyes. So I'm going to do four things uh, pretty quickly for us. So hang on, let's go th through these things. Uh, number one, you become what you see. Number two, guard your eyes. Number three, very quickly, seven deadly sins. And number four, the important of focus. So let's do this. You, you, you are what you, or you become what you see. I'll give you a simple illustration. See that lottery commercial? Well, there's all kinds of lottery commercials. The guy, in the, uh, he's going around the, the, uh, the lunch table and everybody's chiming in a number. If you watch the lottery tickets, you, uh, the lottery games, and you're focused on that, you're focused on that, sooner or later, you're going to buy one. If uh, all you look at is new houses, you drive, you look at new houses, you got all the magazines, you spend all your time looking and looking and looking, sooner or later you're going to say to your spouse, Honey, we got to get us a new house. Ours is too old. All sexual sin, porneia, that's fornication, unlawful sexual intercourse outside of marriage, adultery, sexual intercourse with someone other than your spouse, it all starts with looking at the wrong things. Looking in the wrong places. You end up loving, you end up uh, idolizing things because you go after what you look at after a long time. So I believe you become what you see. Psalm chapter 103, verse uh, 3, the psalmist said, I will set 
before uh, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. You become what you see. Here's the second thing. We need to guard our eyes. This is a call to vigilance. So ask yourself this question. Well, what am I looking at? Is there a conscious guard? Is there things that I make sure I don't see? Are there things that I make sure I don't spend a lot of time gazing at? There's an old hymn. It's, uh, and, and, and here's the third verse. The hymn's called, Come, Thou Fount of Every, Every Blessing. Verse number three, or stanza number three. O oh, to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Can I give you some good advice? Guard your eyes. Just be careful what you keep on looking at. I was thinking as I was preparing this of the seven deadly sins that the early church fathers used to speak of. And here they are. Uh, The sin of lust, the sin of gluttony, the sin of greed, the sin of sloth, the sin of wrath, the sin of envy, and the sin of pride. And as I thought of those, and I was thinking of this teaching, I was thinking, wow, a lot of those have to do with what we're looking at. So we need to be careful of what we're looking at because the eye is the lamp of the body. So it's very important that we learn to focus on the right things. At the age of 95, J.C. Penney wrote the following, My eyes are getting weak, but my vision is strengthening. My eyes are getting weak, but my vision is strengthening. I want to have the right kind of vision. I want to have the right kind of focus. I need spiritual eyes, and we talked about that last time. But I got physical eyes, and my physical eyes need to be trained to see the right kind of things. I need a vision. I need a see vision. I need to see purpose. I need to see destiny. I need, need to see Jesus. And so I need to make sure that I'm watching the right kind of stuff on TV. I need to use my eyes to receive truth from the word of the Lord. So I need to use my eyes to read the Bible and read the Bible lots because my eyes are the light of my body. I got to be looking at the right kind of things. I need to use my eyes to lighten my body. I need to guard them. I need to focus my eyes, my physical eyes, on good physical things and not on things that are detrimental to my spirituality. Four lessons about your physical eyes. You become what you see. So care for what you spend your time looking at. Care for what you spend your time looking on the TV. Care for what kind of magazines or what kind of websites you go to, what kind of videos you're watching. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Be careful, be careful. Guard yourself. Guard your eyes. Guard your eyes. Seven deadly things since they, so many start from the what I'm looking at, the importance of focus. I want to focus on good things. 
I want to focus on things in eternity. I want to focus on the Word of the Lord. Four lessons about your physical eyes. <laughs>